Hello YouTube and welcome to a brand new Unity 3D tutorial, space tutorial. So what we're going to do in this tutorial is begin creating a system for our um, our space game. So for our ships we can eventually buy new ships. So we can make it upgrade our ships, do better things, stuff like that. And it's really weird to think about the best way around it. But then the best way, what we've already got, is our entities. But not our entities, how we, our... Entity ship starts this one, and what we can do is just create a simple variable that says what ID what um, ship the player's got. So by ID, so one, two, three, four, five, six, blah blah. So what I'm going to do on here is add our entity starts entity, and what our entity starts does is it contains all of the variables for our land game, and the players won't be using hardly any of these in the um, space game but it will be using some, such as map height, and maybe respect for player, field of view, stuff like that. So we'll be able to take that out of the ship stars because it really doesn't belong in there. So we can put it in here, so respect for player, um, yes. Actually, we don't need it out of that one, but never mind, you know what I mean. So then what we can do is convert and basically say every single land civilian we've got, they own a ship up in space. So we could say they've got both, and then we can create even more civilians from that. So health will obviously change, but the way I'm getting at this is what we're going to do in the player, so we'll open up entity starts, we're going to create a new variable, and I'll put it just before map icon, well, after, and we'll say var um, current ship, and we'll call it an integer. And what this will do is store the ID of whatever ship he's got. So if we find the null, where it says here, currently the player has zero, and currently two, every single other one has zero. So wherever it says no, I'm going to paste the zero after it. So now every ship contains current zero, which will be our first ship, hopefully. So we'll find where the map goes here, and we'll just say um, CS for current ship, and that'll be an integer. And then we'll add it just to finish it off. So current, sh that's not it, current ship equals CS. So now we've got a way to determine what ship the player's currently got. Easy enough. So it's easy enough to come to here and just click the refresh button again. So as soon as it loads, we click refresh, and you will see that everyone gets updated. So now they've all got ships. So what we need to do is link it to that. So every time we push forward, it's going to go to our entity stats, grab that number, and then bounce it back over to ship stats here. So then we'll be able to determine which ship the player actually has. So we'll be able to determine the damage, what. Um, top speed they've got and all stuff like that because it's a lot easier than using the current one so obviously we might be able to eventually merge it with entity stats but I want to keep them two separate so entity stats is player only so not just the play player like land people humans stuff like that whereas ship stats control each ship but I'm not going to name it stuff like red ship enemy ship and put respect for player on it that's going to be an entity stats again all ship stats is going to do is, just like weapon stats, store details about the ship. So it works a lot, lot easier. Obviously this will take some time to do and we're not going to do it yet. But I could well put ship entities into there. That might work quite well. But, because, don't forget, the land one is going to have the same AI system, eventually. So yeah. So what I'm going to do is go to our character and find ship movement. So here, space movement then. And you can see that, well, this one, current speed, it doesn't rip it from anything. Whereas we need to link it to our ship stats. So we need it to go to top speed 3. So we, what we will do is link it to the entity stats. So first we need a way to get the ID. So what I'm going to do is up here, in fact all the way up the top, I'm going to type var id int. And currently it equals we'll make it equal zero so if we don't set an ID it automatically sets it and since this space movement is player only what we can do is go into function start and in here we'll type game object dot find we basically need to go and find our whichever one it was miss scripts to bounce to the entity stats and grab the player's current ship there we need to grab whatever that is so that's what ID is going to be set to so we'll set this to ship ID, just like that. So game object dot find misc scripts dot get component 
and we need the entity stats and then we'll say dot player dot current ship so that well when we put ship id ship id equals so that'll set it to whatever it is and it's currently zero we all know that so i'm going to copy this entire thing again but i'm going to miss off the entity stats bit so down here we can type um in function start again and um, ship top speed actually we don't even need this anymore so we can just type game object dot find current um game object find miss scripts dot get component we'll type ship stats and we'll put bracket is it bracket no dot ships i believe it is bracket and then we type ship id bracket dot top speed and you may be wondering why we're doing it there i'll show you in a minute but ship id here at the beginning it'll default um, assign it so it'll say ships ship id now equals well for the first one it's zero but when we increase it we'll just save it and buy it and then this top speed bit here we're going to cut it and we're going to every single time it says top speed there we're going to paste this so game object I'll find and as you can see it's quite long so we're going to put it back and what I'm actually going to do up here is put the variable back and I'm going to not set it to anything I'm going to tell it to find itself like so so shipped up top speed equals whatever top speed that is and then every time it runs it it'll work perfect really really well of course we could put acceleration and stuff in that in the future but it's taking a little bit too far for what I actually want in this tutorial so top speed is there that should link it up there so that should work so every time we increase this when we re restart the level it should work because we don't want it increasing every second because that does not work very well so let's just test it and see if it works on the movement we've still got to link it to some other stuff I'm not sure what yet but missing field exception and ship start ships so it doesn't know what it is that's an annoying little console let's fix it so we're going to go back to our miss scripts and we'll get ship stats so obviously we've called it something different I've called it capital S ships what have I called it here? lowercase so that's why it messed up top speed is that the same here top speed yes perfect so we'll go back and we'll grab it up here so I'll move around and you can see I crushed it so repeat I'll move around you can see it works fine I'm moving perfect so let's stop it and we'll go back to our miss scripts and we'll turn top speed up to 10 and then we'll scroll to well we can't see it but we'll just hope it works faster so we'll go forward and you can see it's definitely moving faster now I can get to in and out straight away but if you change it here to say 50,000 well 5,000 it moves the exact same as what it was doing and don't forget the more you hold it the faster it goes so if I pause it go to our character and go space movement ship speed goes up and up and up and up and up until it reaches 10 that's it perfect so that links up really well so now what we've got to do is begin thinking which other scripts requires the ship um, stats here so health is another one so we need to link the health and shield shield i'm gonna keep it as where it is because it needs to be done respect for play we'll put minus one like everything else we have and then that should work really well we are only working on the player for now as well we're not going to do the entities yet because it's better that we get the player working fully working than we add enemies to it so so to save some time I skipped to our collision script and I found our on trigger state. If you haven't got this you can't really follow this tutorial. But hey. So we come down and you can see here it's gone ship start starts zero health. So we've got all the code we need, all we need to do is change what this zero is. So I'm gonna go back to our ship starts what we did earlier, not the ship starts, space movement, and I'm gonna copy these three lines up here, including the speeds, and you'll see why in a minute. But I'm gonna to go to collisions and I'm gonna scroll all the way up the top and I'm going to paste it right here. I'm going to move ship ID all the way to the top, so that's at the top, we need it to be. And I'm going to get rid of the speed, so it was just to save time. So, I can get rid of one of these function starts and paste it like that. So it'll go, player, get the current ship, and then it'll assign the... See, we don't even need top speed there, so we can get rid of that. And we can just say ship ID every time it says zero. So we'll find health. So ship starts zero, zero we don't need any of them, find next 
it says it there again. So shield, health, health. So every time it meets, says zero in a bracket for the player, we can hide it because it's not zero anymore. And the reason it's not zero anymore is because ship starts is to do with each individual ship, not the, what you call it, um, not the player only. That's to do with entity stars. It makes it so much easier. If if you still don't get why I'm doing this, um, I'll explain a bit better in a minute. But yeah. So we've now done all them and that should work fine for the health. So the reason I'm doing it, again, for those who don't get it because it's a community thing, we've got to get everyone on the same bounds, is entity stars contains everything about each character. And the player, space or not, is still a character. So what we can do is actually stick everything into Entity Stars. You are right, it will get very, very a long script, but it's so worth it in the end, because then we're not bouncing between two scripts. Ship Stars will only contain the details of each ship. So say the Destroyer has the highest health but the lowest weapons, but the Falcon Reacher, I don't know, has the lowest health but the most powerfulest weapons and then it, all we can simply say is the player has ship 1 so he's got the falcon reacher or the player's got ship 2 he's got the death destroyer stuff like that so let's hope it works so we're gonna go back and we should see our health equal to a thousand well shield so we go on here and you see it's slowly taking this health down of the first one obviously we'll need to switch that eventually but that's all I'm going to do for this tutorial. It's not much, but it's the start of something huge. So we've begun moving things about. And what we're going to do next tutorial is, unless I work on the AI or saving again, we'll be moving it about again. And then we'll be looking at some more entity stats to switch it. So maybe an array within an array. I know it sounds a bit weird, but we'll, the player is currently an array. So we put another array in there of audio clips. Space sounds. And then we have another one land sounds because your space sound coming has that uh, that um, static noise in it because it's radio but your land is not gonna have the static that seems weird so we can tell it which way to go so it should work really well so that's all we're gonna do for this tutorial I really hope you liked it please hit the thumbs up if you did if not dislike it but please tell me why you disliked it otherwise I'll never improve gotta improve you sue everybody but thank you for watching. I really, really hope you liked it. Join my Facebook group and I'll see you next time.